what is Redux is one part of the puzzle. We're going to start exploring why we should be using Redux in our React Native application. So in front of me here, I have this shopping cart app, which would be a good example of why we should be using Redux. So as you can see here, we are using React Navigation, which has an icon on the top, which keeps a track of our shopping cart items. We have one main screen, inside which we have one electronic screen, and we have one book screen. If we go into the electronic screen, we have some products. We can add these products to our cart. So let's go ahead and do that. As we can see, our cart is being updated. If we go back to our book screen now, we can again continue adding items to our cart, and the cart updates seamlessly. If we go into our cart, we can see all our items there and clicking on them, we can remove the items from our cart. This is something which would be a little tedious to carry out using just the inner state of the application. Since electronics and books are two sibling components, passing the state would mean to pass it to the top, which is the home screen, and then again pass it back down to the shopping cart. So using Redux here makes it very easy to keep a track of our shopping cart, which we can access from anywhere within our app. So I'm starting with an empty React Native project that I've created with Expo and I've opened it up in my code editor, Visual Studio Code. We'll start with adding some dummy data. So we'll create a new file here and let's call that data.js. Inside this, I'm just gonna paste in some code. So as you can see, we have two arrays. The first one is electronics and the second one is books and they have products inside them which are objects by themselves. We'll be pulling in this data into our app to display it later. For now, let's go ahead and install our dependencies. The only dependency that we need is React Navigation. So we'll say npm install React Navigation and we'll go for a particular version and that is 2.17.0 to prevent this video from breaking in the future. After installing the dependencies, you might get a red screen for which you can run npm install again. But you may get this screen saying can't find variable self. That's because a particular package dependency for Expo has been updated and we need to just downgrade that. So just run npm add. This is the code that you need and you need to downgrade this dependency down to 2.0.4. Once that's installed, just exit out your simulator and restart your Expo project and it should be working again. And then we can see our project is good to go. So as of now, the entry of our app is app.js. Here we'll create a new file and let's call that shoppingcart.js. I'll just pull in some boilerplate code to just display the name. The link to these snippets is available in the description. And we'll come to our app.js and pull in this shopping cart. Now we'll get rid of this view here and pass in our shopping cart. So that's a start. Now let's go into our shopping cart.js and create our first stack navigator. So we'll say import create stack navigator from react navigation. Coming down here, we'll say const app stack navigator, create stack navigator, and we'll create our three screens. First one will be home. Let's make that point to the home screen and electronics, which points to the electronic screen. And lastly, we have books, which points to the book screen. Let's save that and pass this app stack navigator inside here. Obviously we haven't created these screens, so let's go ahead and do that. For that, what we'll do is we'll create a new folder and call that containers. Containers are going to be the components that are directly aware of Redux. So let's go here and create home screen.js. Again, just some boilerplate code to display the name. Similarly, electronic screen. And lastly, we'll have the book screen. Coming back to our shopping cart, let's import these screens here on the top. So there we can see we have our stack navigator ready. The entry point is the home screen. Then we have the electronic screen and the book screen. So let's go ahead and create our cart icon here on the top. What we'll do is in our app stack navigator, we'll pass in the navigation options. And this is where we'll set up the cart icon. Firstly, we'll give it a header title and let's call it shopping app. I will say header right. And here we'll pass in our shopping cart icon. Obviously we have to go ahead and create this. So let's go ahead and add the shopping cart icon to our containers folder. And here I'll just pull in a functional component and we'll call it shopping cart icon. We're not expecting this to have its own state, so it can remain a functional component. I'll come back to our shopping cart.js 
and let's import the shopping cart icon here at the top so let's say import shopping cart icon and then we're getting the title on the top let's change that up and let's replace the text with an icon so though expo has an icon library by default just to keep it common for everyone we'll install a library called react native vector icons once that's installed we'll just import it here so we'll say import icon from react native vector icons and the icon set we're looking for is ion icons let's get rid of this style here and just pass in another view instead of this text we'll pass in the icon and it'll be ios cart let us increase the size a little under the parent view let's pass in a padding let's say padding of five that looks much better inside this top view we'll pass in a text for now let's just hard code it it'll be the item count and obviously we need to position that so it's a style give it a position of absolute give it a height of 30 width of 30 border radius of 15 a background color of a nice green so let's save that okay we're getting it on top of that so let's give it a right of 15 and a bottom of 15 and to align the text in the center we'll just say align item center and justify content center that looks better and one last thing we need is we'll pass in a z index give it a higher z index so that it comes on top of the icon for the text we'll just give it a color of white and a font weight of bold there we have our icon now let's go ahead and connect our home screen to our electronics and book screen so in our home screen.js we'll import a button here on the top and instead of this text here we'll pass in the button so we'll say button title we'll call it electronics to point to the electronics screen we have to pass in on press so it'll be this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and we navigate to the electronics screen close out the button and we'll just duplicate that change this to point to the book screen and here we'll pass in books now if you click on electronics we go into the electronics screen Clicking on books takes us to the book screen. Let's start with the electronics screen. Here we'll import an electronics from our data file. So if you remember in our data.js, we exported this electronics constant. So in our electronics screen here on top, we'll say import electronics from data.js. Also here on the top, let's give it some navigation options. Change the header title. Let's say header title is equal to electronics. And here instead of this text, We'll create a custom component to display the products so let's call that component products and here we'll pass in a prop called products which will point to electronics since we're going to be using this products inside electronics and books it makes sense to create a custom component so here let's go ahead and create another folder now and let's call that components components are going to be our dumb components which are directly not connected to redux but we'll get the data passed through props so here we create a new file and call that products.js and let's create a component here call that products the same thing we can do in our book screen first import books from our data file and then we can import in products from our components folder and here instead of text we'll pass in the products with a products prop pointing to books so now if you go to our book screen, we see we have our books as well. Clicking on any of the items will give us an alert added to cart. 